Morning, sir. How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. What do you have here? I have a Hasbro yellow card Kamala action figure. This is pretty cool. Kamala was a wrestler for the WWF. A lot of my friends love wrestling, and they watched it with their kids growing up, and now their kids aren't into wrestling anymore, but guess what? Dad still is. Right. <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my Hasbro Kamala action figure. I found my Kamala figure at an estate sale. I'm hoping to sell my Kamala figure for $7,500 today. This is pretty cool. So the World Wrestling Federation. I think it's now the WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment, and it is just that entertainment. So this is uh, Kamala. He was a wrestler in the 80s portrayed by James Harris. He was supposed to be like this cannibalistic headhunter kind of guy, and he would come out with his mask and his spear. He was considered to be a villain, not the most popular of all wrestlers, but he got a chance to wrestle with some of the greatest wrestlers like Hulk Hogan, Undertaker, Andre the Giant. One of the really cool things about Kamala is he is one of very few professional wrestlers to have body slammed Andre the Giant. Probably most wrestlers can't body slam Andre the Giant. That is 100% correct. So the cool thing about this is there's a moon on the belly, and that is originally how he would come out, but for production, they put a star on his belly. They did. It's believed that this maybe would have been like an um, early pre-release kind of thing that accidentally got packaged. Actually, this was going to be the original plan for the mass production, but they went with the star instead. Oh, wow. It's a really nice piece. I mean, this is considered to be one of the holy grails for wrestling collectors. This is a piece that any collector would want to have for sure. And what are you looking to do with it? I would like to sell this. And how much are you looking to get? I am hoping to get 7,500. Okay. I mean, the condition of the box is, I don't want to call it beat up, but it's got like some issues with the glue kind of like, it started to separate, but I know these things go for a lot. Even though it looks authentic to me, I need to have someone who knows what they're looking for come down and take a look at it. Fair enough. Give me a few minutes, I'll have someone write down. Absolutely. I look forward to hearing what the expert has to say. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that my figure is 100% off. I'm sure you're familiar with this. Very familiar. Yeah. Take a look at it and <laughs> tell me what you think. This is a very, very rare and desirable figure in the WWF Hasbro line, and maybe in all wrestling toys, this is going to be a top two or three grail for collectors. He was one of those larger than life characters that although he didn't have a big fan base, everybody knew Kamala and his story and it made him relevant in WWF. So in the WWF Hasbro line, it is traditionally known that they would run a set of 24 samples right before production. And those 24 samples would go out to the lawyers or the head of brand. It's kind of like, this is what our production piece is gonna be. Can we get the final signatures on it? That's where this is expected to have come from. And this piece in particular, what's really unique is that they had his signature moon on his belly. And it's speculated that he didn't sign off on the final approval of what was being produced by Hasbro. So the actual production figure was kind of a star and they were able to produce it without his okay. Wow. What do you think about the condition of this? I noticed like some weird stuff going on with the glue. Does this look original package and everything to you? So um, I do notice there's a little bit veining here and also in here, somewhat consistent. It looks like someone's removed a price sticker at some point. And then uh, I wanna take a look at just a couple more things here. And let me pull this out. So basically what I'm seeing here when I look at this is I'm looking for this really smooth texture to the paint, mm -hmm. right? And you can see all that. And then I get into here and it looks more crude, looks more rough. So you're saying that someone might have painted over this. Yeah, I, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, mm. but unfortunately it's one of those things that you have a fake and actually not the real figure. Now this is common to find. And some dead giveaways, the sticker residue. Okay. Because my belief is this is a figure that would have never actually made it to the floor of a store. So therefore, why would it have a price sticker on it? Because the store would apply that, not the manufacturer. Okay. Right? And even though this looks like it's done pretty well, the points that you pointed out, Chum, you can tell where there's inconsistencies in the glue throughout it. So it is that holy grail piece. But unfortunately, man, I'm sorry, but mm. you got a fake one. At least now I know. I appreciate All right, you coming out. No problem. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much, sir. 
Well, I'll be honest with you, even though I had those few questions in my mind, I literally had no doubt that this was real. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to make a deal this time, but I just hope you didn't pay too much for it. I didn't, but uh, thank you anyway, sir. Have a good day, it still looks cool on the shelf. Thank you. It's still a really cool conversation piece for people who see my collection. So it, it's not a win, but it's still a win.